Hey man, what's going on man? This your boy Kagi SMG back with another video man and today you can tell by the thumbnail, you can tell by the title exactly what's going on man. We discussing Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. You must secure the bond with a final act of trust. Before we get into it, man, I just want to give a big thank you to Ubisoft for letting me play this game early. It was a great experience, man, and I can't wait for the full release. Now, if you are a fan of the James Cameron Avatar movies, you will love this game. In my time with the game, I was thrust into a very vast world in control of a Navi female who's trying to relearn her roots. Which, by the way, as stories go, I really think this is going to be a good one. I'm a big fan of a good story in a video game, but at the same time, I'm a simple man, so I claimed this game a 10 out of 10 when I first saw the trailer. With that being said, I'm not going to talk too much about the story this is mainly going to be about the gameplay and my overall experience with the game but for those who do want to know about the story i'll give a little brief description the game is set after the first avatar film in the trailers we learn that the rda has moved out to the western frontier where john mercer a rda leader abducts several navi children including our character with the idea of raising them to fight against their own people our character is put into the big sleep or you can call it a suspended animation and doesn't wake up until 15 years later and that seems like when the story picks up we're gonna be relearning our roots finding out where we come from and learn everything we need to know about being a navi i will protect pandora you can watch our story trailer reaction on YouTube. I will link it in the description. But now let's talk about the gameplay. First things first, man, this game is beautiful. When I heard this game was getting announced, man, I really wanted it to be third person, but playing it firsthand in first person, it really makes sense. And it just makes the game feel more gorgeous than it already is. All the unique plants and lighting just makes it feel like it's almost straight out of the movie. In terms of how the game feels, I know a lot of people say this game is just gonna be Far Cry but with blue skin. And I can see why people think that, but to me, someone who has played the Far Cry games, this feels very similar, but almost completely brand new. This game has you using your Navi sense majority of the time, finding out clues, going to your destinations, waypoints, finding craft materials. It doesn't feel like you're playing as a human. You are a Navi. You can jump really high using your height to your advantage. That's going to lead us straight into the combat. The combat is honestly something I wasn't expecting. I knew it would have to be fun, but I feel like the deeper we get into this game at the full release, it could be very challenging. You have to be quick because your enemies are some formidable folks. The RDA agents that I fought in this game, man, really brought it to me. You have to know when you need to be stealthy, and if you do want to go in guns blazing, you better know what you're doing, man. But over time, you can really become something powerful. With the skills that you can get in this game, you can make it where you're completely silent even when you're running so enemies can't detect you. Taking it back to our character's height, I also also love how you can just smack down on human enemies. I always love when video games make you feel the power of your character. Instead of games where you're playing as the Hulk and you have to punch a human like three times before they're dead. I love that since our character was trained by the RDA, we can use Navi weapons and RDA weapons. So switching back and forth between a bow and arrow or assault rifle is just perfect. So if you're looking for a good first person fast paced type of action, this game is for you. The air combat is something special as well. As you can see, when you're on your mount, you are in third person. And flying around shooting at the RDA helicopters or whatever they're called, almost feels exactly like you're in the movie, especially when you tie it in with the beautiful music they have. And the fact that this game isn't officially out yet, they still have time to approve upon all of this, man. So I just can't wait for the full release because this game seems really in-depth with what they're trying to do down to the cooking, crafting, customizing your character. Now, some of this I can't show just yet, but it is in-game. Now, I want to talk about some of the characters that I got to see in the time that I had with the game. Once again, these graphics are gorgeous. Some of these characters look straight out of the films, but coming off of the Far Cry games and games like Cyberpunk 2077, I really can't wait to learn more about these characters, learn more about our character and hopefully we can kind of shape our character's future and outcome so far i don't think there's any dialogue options for us or any choices we can make but regardless from what i played it seemed like the story can get pretty deep at times who did this you made her go father stop I was already kind of growing attached to some of the characters and I would hate to see anybody die. The scales of some of the missions in the game are also amazing. The mission where we have to choose and chase our Ikron, which will be our flyable mount, is freaking perfect. If you guys remember, we actually played another Avatar game made by Ubisoft not too long ago, but we had a very similar mission. Imagine that mission, but first person and 10 times more gorgeous. Once again, the music and OST in this game had me cheesing the whole way through.
And I'm not a huge fan of puzzles and video games, man, but I love it when they make it work. And in this game, it seems to be making it work, keeping it challenging, but not too crazy. I love how we have to use our plants to our advantage and to progress through the story, like these one plants that make you jump up really high or the plants we have to destroy in order to open the door or plant door, I should say. It really makes everything in the world feel alive. I remember when this game was first announced, they said they were gonna do that and they stuck to their word. And speaking of the world feeling alive, man, once you finally acquire your Ikron and you take flight into the skies, as you look around and you see the trees and the floating rocks and all the different colors, it's, it's truly amazing. <laughs> The gameplay on your Ekron to me does seem like it can use a little bit more work, but the game still has some time before release, so hopefully we can see that fix. And that's mainly the speed. So I would love to go a little bit faster. But the Ekron does have a skill tree that I can't show you guys, but hopefully that can be done in there. I should also say that it took me a while to get used to the controls in the air, but over time I got used to it and it felt very smooth, but like something was missing. But maybe in the full release, when I max out all of the skills for my Ekron, it will feel way better. And I don't know if I can show you guys this, but I don't have any notes or anything where it says I can't. So with that being said, this game does have a photo mode. Now I know y'all barely see me use photo mode while we're playing games, but I love photo mode outside of recording. So this was very fire for me. Can't wait to get some beautiful shots of this game. But overall, this game truly is amazing. It's freaking beautiful. The music is great. Combat is great. And with the world being so big, it seems like there's going to be a lot for us to do. Outside of the story missions that I played, which were fire, we also have side stuff we can do, different and new characters we can meet and help them out with certain tasks and keep leveling up and increasing our character stat to become the legendary Navi that we know we can be. Any new subscribers? The avatar game I mentioned earlier, my character's name was Bone Kui Kui. In an avatar frontiers of Pandora, we will be continuing her story through the eyes of her child, me. Kage SMG. But with that being said, man, I'm gonna end this video up right here. I will be making a follow-up where I show y'all more just raw gameplay. If you wanna see that raw gameplay and all that, just stay tuned for the next video. This was just my impressions, my overall experience, how I felt, how I'm feeling, and what you can expect if you wanna play this game. So if you love the Avatar movies, if you've played Far Cry and any other first-person shooter with a good story, if you don't mind a fantasy, almost a magical, different cultural type of game, this is definitely gonna be for you but until the next video i see you and i hope you enjoy if you did do me a favor hit the like button subscribe if you're new hit the bell so you know when i'm posting man share the content share the channel do all of that i'll see y'all in the next one it's your boy kagi smg peace